Hi, everybody. I just got this from a subscriber who lives in this area. An Amtrak train derailed. A new Amtrak train derailed. 70s sent to the hospital, six dead after train derails onto Interstate 5, I believe in between Seattle and Portland. What to know? Amtrak train 501 derailed near Lacey. Six people on the train were killed. At least 70 people were sent to St. Joseph Hospital. 20 people were sent to an Army Medical Center emergency center. The train hit cars. People were injured on the roadway, but no motorists were killed. All lanes are blocked in the heavily traveled area near Joint Base Lewis McCord. The train that overturned is a new Amtrak train. It provides service from Seattle to Portland. It's unclear what caused the derailment. Well, we have seen this quite often throughout the years, right? Trains derailing. All right. I'm going to link below to this video that I posted actually on Kafka Winston World, but fortunately somebody uploaded it to their channel, New World Order Plans to Transform U.S. Exposed to 1969. Listen to their magnificent success. And I will link below to the actual article, but this here, this is the recollections of a doctor who attended a meeting of pediatricians, but the person who was giving the speech was someone who was an insider from a... Um, like a secret society. And he laid out in 1969 what would be occurring here in the United States. And one of the things that he was talking about was Americans would no longer have any security. Nothing would be permanent. Streets would be rerouted and renamed. Areas you had not seen in a while would become unfamiliar. Among other things, this would contribute to older people feeling that it was time to move on. They feel they couldn't even keep up with the changes in areas that were once familiar. Buildings would be allowed to stand empty and deteriorate, and streets would be allowed to deteriorate in certain localities. The purpose of this was to provide the jungle, the depressed atmosphere for the unfit. Somewhere in this same connection, he mentioned that buildings and bridges would be made so that they would collapse after a while. There would be more accidents involving airplanes and railroads and automobiles. All of this to contribute to the feeling of insecurity that nothing was safe. What are we living? I will go through the topics covered by this um, speech, the speech given by Dr. Day, who was the professor of pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical School in New York, and he previously served as medical director of Planned Parenthood. And the recollections were of Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan. And at the beginning of the speech, Dr. Day said, this speech will not be recorded. You will not have any pens or pencils or pads of paper. No notes will be taken. So the recollections of Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan were back in, early, in the early 80s. It's 2017. We are living all of these recollections of Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan this new world system that, well, the contents of that speech. Is there a power, a force, or a group of men organizing and redirecting change? Everything is in place and nobody can stop us now. People will have to get used to change. 
the real and the stated goals, population control, permission to have babies, redirecting the purpose of sex, contraception universally available to all, sex education as a tool of world government, tax-funded abortion as population control, encouraging homosexuality, technology, fam families, and in the technology section, Dr. Day talks about how the weather will be controlled. Families to diminish in importance. Families are a joke here in our country. Euthanasia and the demise pill, limiting access to affordable medical care, planning the control over medicine, elimination of private doctors, new difficult to diagnose and untreatable diseases, suppressing cancer cures as a means of population control, inducing heart attacks as a form of assassination, education as a tool for accelerating onset of puberty and evolution, blending all religions, the old religions will have to go, changing the Bible through revisions of keywords, the churches will help us, restructuring education as a tool of indoctrination, more time in schools, but they wouldn't learn anything, controlling who has access to information, schools as the hub of the community, books would just disappear from the libraries, changing laws, the encouragement of drug abuse to create a jungle atmosphere, alcohol abuse, restrictions on travel, the need for more jails and using hospitals as jails, no more security in hospitals as jails, think about psychiatric institutions, no more security, crime used to manage society, curtailment of American industrial preeminence, shifting populations and economies, tearing at the social roots, sports as a tool of social change, sex and violence inculcated through entertainment, travel restrictions and implanted ID, food control, weather control, know how people respond, making them do what you want, manipulating the American people, falsified scientific research, Terrorism, financial control, surveillance, implants, and televisions that watch you. Home ownership, a thing of the past. The arrival of the totalitarian global system. So if you have been paying attention to what has been taking place, certainly since 9-11, but even just in the current, in the, the more recent years, everything that I just read to you, you will have gone, oh, yeah, it's happened. It's happened. It's happened. Links are below.